And now, your weather authority. Sponsored by the People's Bank, where people come first. Well, good morning, South Mississippi. We have a 20% chance now. It fell from yesterday's 30. Uh, chance of development just off camera here, but still going to focus here on Hurricane Raphael, which yesterday became a major Category 3 hurricane. Uh, it wasn't all that far away from it to begin with, so uh, a slight uh, upgrade there. Then as it went across Cuba, it did weaken, and now the good news for South Mississippi is it's expected to continue its westward track and eventually take that southerly tilt kind of back towards the central gulf and bay of Campeche, which moves it away from us. I kept saying it was really going to be squirrely up here as it started moving towards the coastline. A front was moving in, and it could do a couple of things based on the strength of that, uh, and that really washed out. So there's really nothing to pull it off towards the north. Now it's just going to almost drift aimlessly out there with uh, weakening conditions because of that wind shear uh, and things eventually going to start cooling down noticeably out there. So it uh, doesn't look like we're going to get one of those rare November landfalls, at least in uh, the United States. We'll see. Maybe it ends up kind of going down there towards Mexico or or into uh, uh, the Yucatan Peninsula or something if it curves all the way around. Be interesting to see. Either way, for us, it's just more cloud cover as a stationary boundary has moved in and set up shop, and we're going to see it linger for a little bit, keeping cloud cover and those short-lived spotty showers, which we saw a little bit more of yesterday, and expecting to see a little bit more even than that today. But still largely cloudy here. You see even the uh, sky conditions could never really give it that chance of rain. It's just not very high at any given point. But through the afternoon, I do expect if we're going to get a flare up, that's, that's when it would be as daytime heating adds a little bit to that. And you can kind of see that here on the model. Front's still off towards the north, shoveling all this in. And then as we head into the peak heating of the day, it's almost like a little sea breeze front setting up there, popping up those showers, drifting them around, still going to be of the short-lived variety and drifting quickly towards the, uh, the north and the west there. Boundary continues to break down. That's eventually going to dry things out ever so slightly for Friday. But a new front is setting up, and that eventually starts inching towards us as we head into Saturday night and Sunday morning. And I expect that will bring our rainiest period that we'll, we've seen over the last two weeks. Uh, and that'll be right around Saturday night again into Sunday morning. Then starting to taper off by Veterans Day there on Monday, things are looking much better. Sun coming out, things cooling down a tad, but it's not until after Wednesday here when we get another chance of rain returning that we see a front pass through and that'll finally bring back those cooler, much more fall-like weather.